gracious hallelujah, God. Look at this view. Unreal. So we've had an eventful day. We got here early this morning at the crack of dawn. I drove out to the road that connects to Forest Service Road 6, where Chelsea Grimm um, vehicle was found. And who is Chelsea Grimm? Sorry, I'm trying to fix his phone, guys. There. Chelsea Grimm was the 32-year-old girl that uh, disappeared here in Ash Fork, Arizona. Um, she last spoke to her parents and said she was going to take a few days to camp. She was taking a cross-country trip in her white Ford vehicle, an SUV, to drive all the way to Connecticut with her bearded dragon to go to a wedding. So, <clears throat> her vehicle was found as the crow flies like three or four miles that way on Forest Service Road 6 with two flat tires um, locked up with some items still inside but also some items missing like her phone, her wallet, um, a sleeping bag and her bearded dragon that was notated but guys <sighs> y'all ain't gonna believe this so I don't get any service around here at all uh, so I decided to hike up on this mountain and come this way to see what we could see for one and use our our quality vortex optics um, see if we can't see any type of clothing or trash or any anything that's out of the ordinary that we can investigate and guys, we came up on this mountain, and you look at this, man. You're like, oh, man. So this is like an entryway for an ancient Native American encampment, guys. I can't freaking believe my eyes right now. I, okay, so at a distance, I saw these rocks piled up. And I thought, hey, that must be a rock quarry up there. Let's go investigate and probably get good service up here. And we came up here, guys. And it's this huge Native American encampment. Look at these walls. I mean, this is unreal, y'all. Someone spent hundreds and thousands of hours moving these heavy stones around. There's a small rock pile. Could be a burial mound. Who knows? There's another large pile. Could be a burial mound. You know, ancient burial mound. There's elk tracks all over up here. But look, there's entire structures up here. Like there's like a whole city of, not a city, but several homes and dwellings. Look at this. I mean, guys, <laughs> my mind is absolutely blown right now. Very nicely crafted. No mortar, guys. All this is just stacked rocks. 100% stacked with science and physics. So, but look, I feel like I'm walking into a straight-up encampment. Ancient Native American encampment. Oh, my God. I just so blown. And, guys, the way the wind whips through the trees, it sounds like voices are... <laughs> it's freaky. But look, this was an entire home. I mean, it's nice and flat down low. This is unbelievable. I mean, what are the chances, guys, I did all those segments about Native American stuff just recently, and then we get here for Chelsea Grimm, the Chelsea Grimm search, and we get up here and hike up on a mountain, and the first thing we find is an ancient Native American encampment. Here's another possible burial mound. Man, I'd love to know what are under these mounds, guys. Whew, I bet it's a burial. Whew, eh. Talk about energies, guys. <laughs> Holy moly. I can't even explain to you. That's like a stack of rocks. I mean, look at this beautiful rounded structure man this place held some significant importance in the tribe y'all i can feel it i don't know if this is where they 
Pray to the gods. Is this like an amphitheater type? I get the amphitheater vibe here. Like they would congregate here. I mean, we were we haven't been here six hours, guys, and we found this. I feel like there's locals around here and people that have no idea this is here. Have have lived here their whole life and probably never found this place. I mean, I swear. So I don't know if you can see, but straight down there in that uh, retention pond area, there's a road to the left, and if you take that road and drive it another three miles, that's where my car's parked, like way over yonder. But I wanted, I like getting up to high spots and using uh, quality optics to look long distances, guys. So you can really cover a lot of ground. Uh, any type of white clothing or light colored, colored clothing will stick out like a sore thumb in this backdrop. Um, I know a lot of it's covered up, but there's always a chance you can catch a glimpse, um, a reflection from a pair of sunglasses, anything like that. Nipsey, what do you think? Zoom, what do you think about this place? What are the chances? Well, y'all, this has been hell on the poor dog's paws, so we're going to have to take her real easy and be controlled with this. I might even have to leave him in the vehicle for some of the search, but... Yeah, this place is truly magical. Like, these big mounds right here are like the entrance, and you walk into the entrance in this pathway, and you come up, and it brings you to this giant Native American structure. And I feel like I could sit here for hours talking about this and showing you this, guys. But let's get back to the reason why we're here. Chelsea Grimm, you know, bless her heart. Her vehicle was found right down here. The 32-year-old girl disappeared. So the reason why we're here, because there has been no credit card, cell phone, social media, Everything is 100% cease and desisted since her visit here and since her vehicle was found. So I always wait um, until like a year after and wait to see if there's any rumors or if there's any rumors from her friends. If she, you know, maybe decided to want to start a new life or, you know, travel to another country and uh, join a monastery or a priesthood or a, uh, a nunhood or something. You know, you never know. People have do their own things and um that's that's okay if they want to disappear on their own volition but it's times like this when i don't really think she disappeared on her own volition guys um it's super strange that her vehicle was locked up nice like someone took time to methodically lock her vehicle so the vehicle was locked her prize camera was in there that she cared so much about that she was out here i mean that's why she was out here guys for photography she's taking pictures of flowers and doing um like video stuff uh she so like to leave her prize camera behind makes me feel like she was coming back to retrieve that camera she locked up her vehicle and possibly took a hike uh went for a hike and might have gotten lost who knows um but Something tells me she's still around here, guys. That's what my gut feeling tells me. So we're going to be here for this week. We're going to put in some long days here. As long as the puppy's paws can handle it. But don't worry, guys. I'm going to take good care of them. we got food and stuff. And I'm going to pamper them good. But look at this. So, guys, this is, I'm going to do a pan of the entire American encampment structure. Like, what are the chances of, uh, all right, let's hike up to the top of that peak, and we get up here, and it's an ancient Native American structure. And guys, there's arrowheads and stuff all over the place on the ground. But we're not going to pick up any or take any. I don't need any bad juju. Got my own problems. I got enough problems as it is. But there's, man, there's all kinds of wild stuff up here. So let's just talk about the search. You know, the past search teams, and my hat's off to them. I know they worked hard, but y'all, this is some unforgiving country. And let me just show you. There's one type of cactus. Here's some prickly pear cactus. There's some century plant, pokia. Here's a different type of dang cactus. 
I mean, it is some unforgiving country. And I mean, you could have the best search team in best dogs in the world, but they get out here and their paws get to hurting. And, um, you know, it's, it's hell on them. So, but guys this is the best time to search for somebody in these woods. Um, back in the summer, there would have been a lot more green. You can see all the greenery is dead and laid down. Um, this is the first 60 degree days they've had in a long time. The snow literally just melted and the ground is still wet from the snow, y'all. We could not be here at a better time. I mean, the green grass has not even started to, barely started to pop up. Look. But there's so many, so what I've noticed is from the, there's lava rock and there's all kinds of angled stones like these. And y'all, if someone wanted to like try to get underneath the stone to stay warm or, uh, uh, you know, for shelter and perish there, like a helicopter would have to be literally right on top and they still wouldn't even see the person underneath like an angled stone like this. So that's what I want to do is go through and clear all the areas that possibly might have gotten overlooked due to strange angles in the stones. But I'll tell you what, this is unbelievable. Thank you, Creator, for these blessings. Guys, I've just been praying this whole time to bring Chelsea home. We're not doing this for rewards. We don't accept rewards. Our handouts our money or anything this is all volunteer guys and um i just want to let that be known to chelsea's family and stuff we're trying to bring closure and that's all um, you know it's a tough subject but we got to talk about truth and facts and science and that's what we're going to go off of But I just want to say thank y'all so much for being here. Um, we're going to be here for a week, like I said. We're going to put in the hardcore college try. We're clearing over 10 miles a day. Um, I, so I've already cleared th this hill, this ridge, all the way over here. I'm doing a giant outer circle. And we're about 10 miles away from her car where her car was parked. And I'm thinking instead of going to her vehicle and working out like most search teams do, they go to the vehicle and they do a circular grid pattern outward. I'm going to start out and go where the searches have fizzled out way off in, you know, the perimeters and start my search and do a circle search and work in towards the vehicle. So we're going to do it backwards. Um, I like to do that because we start out fresh on the areas where the search teams kind of gave up and uh, fizzled out you know there's a heavy intense search right around the vehicle so i'm trying to go where a lot of the teams haven't been yet and i know they've searched a big time this whole area my hat's off to them but guys when the country is this rough and rugged you can never do a thorough enough search i mean you could have 10 search teams coming on the spot and it happens all the time someone finds the body in an area that has been searched over and over and over how many times have you heard that oh that area was searched 10 times you know so that's why i come with fresh eyes fresh nose and a fresh mind and take all the facts in um i talk i've been talking to the locals i've been all the whispers like I, we're going deep in with this guys you can learn a lot about an area by talking to the locals but every all the locals have made it seem like they haven't heard any whispers of foul play or if and she didn't hang, she didn't run away with any sketchy dude or, you know, join a hippie commune. I don't think anything like that happened, y'all. I think she decided to go for a camp. I think those tires popped and it was very stressful to her. And she decided, well, I'm just going to go camping then. And she took her stuff and went off and in this rugged area, she still remains. So. Um, God bless y'all. Say a prayer and prayer for Chelsea Grimm, please. Uh, and we're going to try our best to bring her home. So I want to say thank y'all and blessings. Uh, get emotional at times like these. Uh, I get emotionally invested in this, guys. I care about the victims. 
and we do it for the creator and nothing else so i love y'all at home you know i love you hit that like and subscribe we don't do this for clout um but i do love to see y'all's kind comments that's what i do it for that's what keeps us fueled up and moving so blessings to y'all have a wonderful beginning of your week and stay tuned we're going to be hammering this area and every time i find something amazingly cool i want to come back and show y'all do one more pan but god bless the spirits and the human beings that used to live here what do you think Nipsey? Nipsey's never seen the arizona mountains before but this area right here especially feels special this rounded kiva like structure i mean these dudes must have been jacked y'all carrying these heavy giant stones around these native americans must have been just swole i mean someone put in long hours with all these stones i bet they were cock diesel but i'll shut up now and this looks like the trail they used to come into camp it's like you can still see the wallard out trail and speaking of wallard out that's what i decided to call you guys since my channel's a wall without a cause which stands for absent without leave and i request that you guys go absent without leave so you can find amazing things like this hello wake up get outside go absent but make sure when you go absent without leave that you follow the seven lucky peas of success and that's perfect prior preparation prevents piss poor performance um, always be prepared um, it's hard to prepare for a country like this guys but um, blessings to y'all and talk at you soon